This is a video on the pressure differential warning actuating unit and uh, how it works is on the Triumph you've got two inputs from the master cylinder one of these goes to the back one of these bottom ones goes to the one of the fronts one of these goes to the other front and when the circuit when you've got brake problems i.e. one of the wheel cylinders is leaking this little piston or it's called a shuttle or a scuttle moves it actually goes inside here and it moves one way or the other this is the switch that basically as it moves sorry it presses this and makes contact now there's two contacts on this thing and so there actually there's a little clip that connects the two so when some people ask which way does the uh, connector go on it doesn't really matter because if you look very carefully there's a little bridge piece metal that uh, connects the two so now a couple of things that happen people get scared about opening these up they're not too difficult if you if you do have a stag I'd recommend buying a an impact wrench I've got a rechargeable one and a, an air powered one works well makes life a lot easier so you undo this bolt here and the first thing you'll and this is a case of a couple of things if, if your pressure differential unit is leaking so there's actually two o-rings one here one here and if they leak you typically see oil brake fluid leaking out of this hole here in the switch so there shouldn't be any uh, fluid coming out of that switch at all now let's assume one of the circuits has uh, tripped this piston moves one way or the other as mentioned or if it's leaking then you may have to do some work so if, it, if it's moved and you know which uh, if it's either the back half of the reservoir or the front half of the reservoir you can ideally put a um, little dental tool or a pick inside and center it it's relatively easy now if it needs to change the o-rings relatively easy as well you just change the o-rings but the hardest thing is getting this thing out of this piston and I find that um, compressed air works well if you don't have a air compressor maybe a grease gun in one of these outside uh, backside uh, connections will push this out so you just change these two o-rings there's usually a, a copper flat washer on that that comes with the kit and then you go ahead and put it in and you center it and you tighten it all up now when you bleed the system typically what happens if you're using the old conventional way of getting two people one person on the brake pedal one person at the uh, cylinder at the bleed screw this piston has a tendency to move and so I found a way to to stop that moving is once you put the uh, piston inside the um, sorry the shuttle inside the unit you can actually put a small screw down this hole and this is a 3 8 24 bolt it actually bolts into this so what I'm doing just show you this is putting this here bolting this through here and that will hopefully prevent this shuttle from moving left or right it's an easy way some people fabricate a special tool I don't have anything I just thought hey let me use a, a screw and uh, this bulb worked perfectly well I have a, a tool called the Mighty Vax it's a one-person tool it seems to work some people have used compressed air I have an interesting question I have a cheap compressor it doesn't have a, a filter for moisture so I'm assuming if you're using a compressed a air compressor that has one of those filters you could be introducing 
moisture into the brake fluid and that was something that just came up recently um, this thing is just the, the bolt size it's a 3 8 by 24 there's nothing part of that and that's it it's a pretty simple fix these cost like 100 pounds a bit crazy um, yeah you know if you're in the UK they rust out I think but WD-40 and an impact wrench will will help so that's uh, the uh, pressure differential warning actuator PDWA